Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be talking about the red jungle fowl. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, make sure to subscribe to the website, happychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So, if you like your chickens wild, the red jungle fowl is the way to go. They don't care to make friends with their humans and prefer to disappear into nature as much as they can. Can. This is because this is considered to be the great, great, great grandfather of all domestic chickens and can still be found in the wild in the Caribbean and Asia. So they are truly wild at heart. If you like the idea of keeping an old breed of chicken that still maintains the traits of chickens prior to domestication, you need to take a look at this pretty little breed. It may be hard to imagine chickens in the wild because they have been domesticated for almost 9,000 years or for more than that. But it's true, they used to go about their business without our intervention. Let's talk about the appearance of the red jungle fowl. It's a striking chicken to behold. He is a similar look to that of a Kellogg rooster, or what is also known as a well summer rooster, with a similar frame and a few more color variations in the upright posture of an old English game hen. Roosters have bright contrasting colors that include blue-green buff, and of course a lovely iridescent blackish blue in their tail feathers. Hens on the other hand are quite bland with their brown and tan feathering, and it is because these colors help her camouflage. Now let's talk about the size. Both male and female red jungle fowl are a small breed of chicken. In the wild, these birds are quick and their size is perfect for stuffing themselves into nooks and crannies as they hide from predators. Next to a larger chicken like the Brahma, the jungle fowl looks as if it is a bantam. However, it's not the case and their frames are just one of the special characteristics that they have. At maturity, this chicken weighs in a mere four pounds. Now let's talk about the eggs. Despite the fact that the red jungle fowl is pretty extremely small, hens are happy to lay medium-sized eggs. A hen can lay over 250 eggs per year, so she knows how to keep up with the best of them. And the eggs are tinted with an extremely light brown. Unfortunately, jungle fowl hens production tends to slow down during the cold season, but that's not uncommon. Now let's talk about the meat. Clearly, the smaller the chicken, the less likely they can be used for meat. The yield on this bird is hardly worth harvesting, but that's not saying you couldn't. Any chicken can be used for their meat, but if you're looking for a high yield try a ranger chicken that some hatcheries are now offering alternatives to the cornish cross broiler chicken if you had to use the red jungle fowl consider it a good grilling chicken or a cornish hen caliber now let's talk about their hardiness they do very well in hot climates but may need an extra insulation for the cold months i suggest using heat lamps to keep them alive and well during the winter they'll do just fine if you keep out the bitter cold now let's talk about the free range this is where they become superstars they were literally built to be wild. They're keen in their outdoor environment and are experts at evading looming predators and your affections for that matter. As foragers, the red jungle fowl does a fantastic job feeding herself and searches expertly for all types of protein, seeds, berries, and other delectable vegetation. If you're expecting to collect from your jungle fowl, you may have to do some extra work in training them to come into the coop at night to roost and lay their eggs. And now the hens instinctually know the safest place for them to lay their eggs. If they make the decision for themselves, they will. Don't let their opinion of your well-placed nesting box hurt your feelings. It's nothing personal, they just know better. And lastly, let's get into their temperament. They are more of a look, don't touch. That's their motto. It's not their meat, it's not that they're mean, they're just a little skittish and nothing to do with human companionship. Their hesitancy to get close only makes them that much better at protecting themselves. So why would you get one? Because it's considered to be a good layer and many keep them for eggs and they're pretty hardy. And if you're interested in the ancestry of chickens, it's a good one to get as well. And they're not really believed to contract many diseases as easily as other domesticated birds. So if you just like lovely little ornamental breed that's tough as nails, this is the wild bird you should have for your flock. They're beautiful to behold and have a proud posture. That just cannot be ignored by passerbys. If you like the attention, get an exotic jungle fowl chicken. That's going to do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learn something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.